something that's been on my heart and like the ups and downs of my life is like you can choose your decisions but you can't choose your consequences and so that can you can apply that a lot of places you know just any kind of life decision but even mathematics and such and as we as we go forward and you know you got to go to this school or get this grade or whatever um you know you try to do things on the front end but then if not and consequences come and such then you you get to keep having new decisions to make though like as you face whatever consequences come um so that's one thing and that might not be like the, it's kind of hard in a way but it, it helped put some things in perspective for me like even continue on from that point atp like there's been after effects and and sometimes even I'm real ones and sometimes perceived and there's been things like personally in my life and such but then that's how I can reflect on whether I'm growing or not um, because I get to reflect on like okay what are decisions I made um, in a situation and then uh, another thing and this is like part of my teaching philosophy is to shower in your learning speak hear observe write explain and read speak mathematics, hear mathematics, observe mathematics, write mathematics, explain mathematics, read mathematics. Because so much of our time is just observing somebody else. And an example of speaking, I work in Lee Super Algebra. There's the universal enveloping algebra. I remember being on the elevator with my advisor and we were having like this little short talk and like he goes enveloping. And I'm like, ev 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 like, and he, he actually like, he said it with me, but like, that's the same thing I do with my students, like their undergrad and so on. Like, I want you to speak, try, let's try together. Because when you start speaking and you hear yourself and you put it in your folder and you learn more and you grow more, you grow in confidence and like you can draw from that folder, like you've heard yourself say this word. And then it starts to become meaningful. When you write it, like it becomes meaningful. Like you train your brain to think that these things are important. And so it's, I think it's only instructor to help create an environment where one wants to do these things. So like one wants to come up to the board and like, okay, let's experience that feeling like, oh, it's crazy, isn't it? Like I'm writing up here, right? But now I'm sitting down, I get to observe you. I'm gonna observe you do mathematics. And it doesn't have to be one at a time. You know, when you're writing, you can be explaining. And so I think that's what really helped me learn. And it also reminds me like what my teaching is going. Like if I'm doing too much writing or if I'm asking them to do too much reading or something like that, or not enough, hearing at times like I want you to hear each other say like this is yours this is our conversation that we're joining in it goes back years yes people have already started the conversation with certain terms but we're joining the conversation so not only do we want to know like what's been said but how are we going to go forward and now speak it hear each other observe what's going on write out new things explain old things or new thoughts and read so shower and jokingly your math won't stink. <laughs>